In this video, we will solve a question on how to find tax revenue from the given demand and supply function and how to calculate the impact of uh, per unit tax on the consumers and producers. Okay, the question is like this. Suppose quantity demanded is 60 minus 10p. Q denotes the output, P denotes the price and quantity supplied is 10p. And suppose that government imposes excise tax of $2 per unit collected from producers. Find new equilibrium price and quantity sold how much of the tax is actually paid by consumers and how much falls on producers okay so first we need to find out the new equilibrium uh, you know price and quantity and the impact of uh, the you, you know this per unit tax on consumers and producers and also i have added uh, this very part this was not initially in the question that is uh, calculate government revenue okay so what we are being given here we are being given the quantity demanded and that is equal to uh, 60 minus 10p this is our demand function okay let's write it in terms of inverse demand function first so transposing this minus 10p here it will be plus 10p is equal to we have 60 minus q or we can write it p is equal to if i transpose 10 it will get divided to each of these terms so 60 upon 10 is 6 minus uh, 1 upon uh, q upon 10 will become 0 0.1 q okay i hope you know how did i calculated it no problem here also <clears throat> this is our inverse demand function okay what is our supply supply is being given as q is equal to 10 p and if i write it inverse supply function so solving for p so p is equal to transposing this here it will become 0 0.1 one q these are our demand and supply functions okay so this is our supply function supply function okay also we are being told that tax rate is two dollars per unit okay so two dollars per unit is a tax that is being imposed on the producer here okay now uh, initially what will be the equilibrium equilibrium occurs where demand and supply are equal okay so initially our equilibrium requires demand should be equal to supply so this is our uh, demand function okay new demand function you get all you can also uh, solve these two so let's uh, solve this very thing these two okay this supply and this okay so we have 6 minus 6 minus 0 0.1 q is equal to this 0 0.1 q so demand should be equal to supply this is our inverse demand function is this inverse supply function or transposing this here so this becomes 0 0.2 q should be equal to 6 okay which implies uh, q will be equal to so q will be equal to 6 divided by so 0.2 can be written as 2 upon 10 so q will be equal to 6 into if i transpose then it will become 10 upon 2 so 2 ones are 2 threes are 6 that means quantity uh, demanded is equal to sorry so equilibrium quantity initially will be equal to 3 tens are 30 okay so how can we Asha, first uh, let us also calculate I can be more charging not for you it so now what will be our price equilibrium price so p will be equal to so just plug the equilibrium quantity here so first let me draw the graph to make the things more clear here okay so this is our usual graph we have quantity on this axis price on this axis okay what was our demand function uh, 6 minus 0 0.1 q okay that means intercept was 6 so our initial demand function or originally our demand function was this and our supply function was 0 0.1 q so it goes like this this is our supply function this is our demand function okay so equilibrium occurs where demand is equal to supply so quantity initially we are at this point we are being producing uh, 30 units of output and what will be the price just plug this q is equal to 30 in the supply function so this is 0 0.1 into q uh, q is 30 okay so let me write here p is equal to 0 0.1 into 30 so 0 0.1 is 1 upon 30 sorry 1 upon 10 into 30 so these two will get cancelled so equilibrium price will be 
थ्री ओके सो इनिशियली आवर एक ग्राम प्राइस वुड बी थ्री नाउ वी आर बी टोल्ड दैट एक्साइज टैक्स ऑफ टू डॉलर्स पर यूनिट इज कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम प्रोड्यूसर्स ओके नाउ देयर इज एक्साइज ड्यूटी ऑन द सप्लाई दैट मीन्स आवर न्यू सप्लाई फंक्शन विल बिकम लेट मी राइट इट हेयर आवर न्यू सप्लाई फंक्शन विल बी इक्वल टू दैट इज पी एन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन क्यू प्लस द एमाउंट ऑफ टैक्स दैट इज टी इज इक्वल टू टू सो इन प्लेस ऑफ टी आई विल राइट हेयर टू ओके दिस इज आवर न्यू सप्लाई फंक्शन विद द इम्पोजिशन ऑफ पर यूनिट टैक्स आवर सप्लाई था जी आवर सप्लाई फंक्शन विल शिफ्ट अपवर्ड्स बिकॉज आवर मार्नल कॉस्ट हेज इनक्रीज सो लेट्स शो इट हेयर सो आवर न्यू सप्लाई फंक्शन विल लुक लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज एस प्लस लेट एस ए विद टैक्स ओके सो दिस इज आवर न्यू सप्लाई फंक्शन नाउ न्यू ओकलिब सॉरी न्यू इक्लिब्रम विल ओकर वेयर आवर न्यू सप्लाई intersects our old demand okay so where this is our new supply this is our old demand curve so new equilibrium will occur at that point okay so uh, let me write here new equilibrium okay it looks like the nash equilibrium which is not the case here we will require where our demand is equal to new supply okay so demand was initially 6 minus 0.1 6 minus 0.1 q should be equal to and what is our new supply function that is 0.1 q plus 2 now again solving for q so if i transpose this to here it will become minus so 6 minus 2 is 4 and 0.1 q transposing here it will become plus 0.1 q so 0.1 q plus 0.1 q is 0.2 q and what will be this which implies q will be equal to So two k point two can be written as so we have four point two can be written as two upon ten so this will become ten upon two so two ones are two fives are ten five fours are twenty so we will be producing let me write it here twenty okay I hope you know how did I calculate this there is no rocket science involved so after the imposition of per unit tax. quantity supplied will be only sorry quantity produced will be equal to 20 okay and what will be uh, the price then then price uh, will be so price will be equal to so pn new price will be equal to so that is equilibrium quantity after the imposition of tax we have 0.0.1 0.1 into 20 Into twenty plus two, so this is a zero point one can be written as one upon ten into twenty. You go yes second. This is two, so two plus two is four. So we get two plus two, which is equal to four. So our new equilibrium price will be four. Okay, after the imposition of per unit tax. Now this was the you know answer to the first. Part dated. Sorry, how how much the tax is actually paid? Sorry, this new equilibrium price and quantity sold. This is our new equilibrium price. This is our new uh, quantity being sold. So this is our uh, new equilibrium price and this is our new equilibrium quantity. The next question was how much of the tax is actually paid by consumers and how much falls on producers. Okay, so. <clears throat> uh when we are producing only 20 units of product what will be uh, the supply sorry at what price the producers would have supplied so just plug uh q is equal to 20 in our supply function so supply function was something like this okay so this was our supply function okay so we have to find this very intercept also that means price would have been equal to 0.1 into quantity being supplied that is 20 so this is p would be equal to 2 okay that means producers will be receiving the price 2 consumers will be you know paying the price 4 okay 
so let me make myself clear here so this was at the equilibrium price after the imposition of tax okay and uh, the price that the producers will receive is only equal to two dollars because they are producing here okay on the supply function corresponding to this what will be the price just plug this 20 into the supply function this inverse supply function and we will get the price that they will receive now we are mm, we have to find out the tax that is being paid by consumers okay initially so let me write it here tax paid by paid by consumers will be equal to initially so new price that they are being this is new price that they are paying minus the equilibrium price that was three that means they are paying one dollar of the tax okay and how much the producers are paying so tax tax paid by producers will be equal to so initially they were receiving three dollars now they are only receiving two dollars that means they are also uh, you know paying one dollar as tax now the third part is what is the total tax uh, government revenue okay so government revenue will be simply equal to government revenue is equal to quantity transacted after the new equilibrium that means q this new quantity into tax rate so quantity is 20 which is being transacted at new equilibrium times the tax rate was two dollars that means 40 dollars will be the government revenue okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you